Hello, Patriots. Welcome back to this episode of Mason Cable News. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kayla Cade. And I'm Olivia Whitehouse. Interested in seeing what Mason's art, Mason's art community has to offer? The Mason Artist Alley will be showcasing the works of illustrators, comic artists, and more from all Mason artistic backgrounds. Attending artists will have the chance to sell self-made merchandise such as prints, comments, stickers, and more. Admission is free and snacks will be available. The event will be held Saturday, November 16th from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. in Dewberry Hall. Do you have an eye for design? The Professional Association for Design will be hosting the terrible logo resign, redesign challenge tomorrow from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. This event will give designers the opportunity to take real life horribly, design logos, and give them a new look, all in a span of 15 minutes. If you think you are up for the challenge, then make sure to attend room L0003 of the Art and Design Building. This Friday, Rain Modeling Troupe will present Purple Rain in the Hub Ballroom at 7 p.m. This event will showcase the talent, style, and fashion on our campus. Get, some, get ready to see some pop and dance performances, fierce walks, and some special guests. Donations will be accepted in support of, the, of a local nursing home. Let's take a short break and throw it over to our in-house weatherman, Jack Dunn, for an update on, of the weekly weather. Thanks, guys. After a chilly Thursday, we do warm up a little bit tomorrow, as the highs should be in the low to mid-50s. However, it is going to be chilly again this weekend, as the highs are only supposed to be in the, in the 40s. Monday won't be quite as chilly, although there is a slight chance of rain, but maybe a couple sprinkles. Tuesday and Wednesday should be a little bit warmer with highs in the 50s, as the temperatures should be relatively normal for this time of the year. Back to you guys. Thanks, Jack, for the update. George Mason has recently announced their concept for the expansion of the GMU Arlington campus. The expansion is envisioned as a gleaming glass and steel tower with our school's distinctive M displayed on top. Governor Ralph Northam announced last Thursday that Mason will be receiving $235 million from the state as part of the Tech Talent Investment Program to expand our campus and develop more tech talent. This new building will be built atop the long abandoned Canes department store. GMU stated that the expanded Arlington campus will, produce, will help produce it 16,000 more undergrad and master's graduates in tech fields over the next 20 years. The results have recently came in that George Mason was one of just 62 universities nationally that achieved a voting rate of at least 50% among students during the 2018 midterm elections. To honor this achievement, the Platinum Seal from the All In Campus Democracy Challenge was awarded to our school. With the average vote rate being just 39%, it shows just how dedicated our students are to voicing their opinions of our national elections. Next Monday, on November 18th, the university will be hosting emergency response training on the south end of campus. Due to this, you may notice an increased presence of police and fire and rescue services around our school. Access will be restricted around the training area and police training signs will be posted as well <coughs> to warn any pedestrians walking by. Unfortunately, due to this training, Lot L will be closed for the entire day. So make sure to have a plan ready for alternate parking areas. We'll be right back after this quick commercial break with the
What's going on, Mason Nation? It's Vince Garbett coming at you guys with another weekly sports update. Mason soccer coach Greg Andrulis announced that he would be resigning from his position. A former MLS coach of the year has overseen the men's program for the last 15 seasons. After a 4-12-2 season, the third losing campaign in four years, the coach said that, quote, it's time to pass on the whistle. I'm grateful for the opportunity that I've had to coach an outstanding group of young men in my time at George Mason that have brought me so much joy and inspiration. Many thanks to the community for a wonderful ride, end quote. A national search for his replacement will begin really soon. On a more positive note, however, the men's basketball team has been dominating their season thus far. With a 3-0 season, they have kept the rally going with the win against LIU on Wednesday, ending in a score of 80-74. to The women's team also played last Sunday against Virginia Tech and fought hard, but ended up walking away with a loss. With a final score of 58-77, to they are currently 1-1 one one on the entire season. Make sure to show your Patriot pride at Eagle Banker Arena this weekend as the men's and women's basketball team both face off at 12 and 7 p.m. That's all from me this week, Mason Nation. Come back next week to see me, Vince Garbett, for more weekly sports updates. We'll be back with the roundtable discussion. You're watching Mason Cable News. So as we all know, the weather in the D.C. metropolitan area has been a little confusing. First, it was around 70 degrees, really hot. I was burning up hot in a sweatshirt. And then it was <laughs> freezing. I was freezing in my winter coat and sweatpants. How do you feel about the weather? Um, I don't like it. I'm not a winter person. I like summer and spring in 80, 90 degree weather yeah. and consistent weather, um, which we've had none of that. Mm -hmm. But... I am excited because when it gets colder and like kind of like snowy-ish, um, that means Christmas and like yeah. New Year's and like Thanksgiving is coming up. So I am excited to like go home and like see my family for the holidays. How are you feeling about the weather? The same. I really <laughs> do not like the cold. I like the snow just to like watch it fall down. But I don't even like the snow. I Can just, we just go to March? <laughs> yeah. It's May. <laughs> I'll take either one. Yeah. Well, Patriots, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in this evening. You can keep up to date with news on and off campus if you follow us on Instagram at MCN, on TV, on Twitter, and Facebook at Mason Cable Network, and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Mason Cable Network. My name is Olivia Whitehouse, and I'm Kayla Kate. Thanks for joining us, joining us today, Patriots, and thank you for tuning in. We'll see you back here next week on Mason Cable News. <laughs>